Hi guys, welcome back to SG Stories Season 2 and it's getting exciting. We're here with Mrs. Kelman, who is a class teacher at reception. Mrs. Kelman, good day to you, my friend. Let's begin by giving a little introduction to you and who are you like outside of St. Gabriel's? Well, hi Richard and hi everyone. My name is Emily Kelman and I am a wife, I'm a mom. Um, a little bit about me, I absolutely love to bake. That is the one thing that when I get free time, I love to bake. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I love being surrounded by my family and friends. And overall, I just, I love working with young children. But yes, outside, outside of St. Gabriel's, that is who I am. I'm a fairly chilled out person, stopping around family and love to bake. Wow. You're the third teacher that I've been talking about food. Right, so yeah, so I've been saying, listen, if you all like to bake and like to cook food, right? Just bring some to school. I am, I will definitely oh, yes. sample. I will sample, no problem at all. Right? I'll I, remember that. Yes. So next time you bake, Mrs. Calman, you got those things for the side. Just bring it to me, and I'm more than happy to sure. try it. Right? Yes, but that's awesome, man. So well-rounded person, as most of our, our team are. So how long have you been um, a part of the Gabriel's family? So I've actually been here. This is my eighth year. So when I joined, it was September in 2014, and I spent four years in the nursery with Mrs. McGuire, and then I transitioned over to reception, and I had been in reception for four years. So yeah, this is my eighth year, and I am loving it. Wow, outstanding stuff. Well, eight years strong, and I think that's, um, in the grand scale of things at St. Gabriel's, that's like, you know, a start because we have teachers that seem to come there and never leave they come to their home for life so it's we're true. really pleased to have you there for eight years so in those eight years i know there must be lots of wonderful memories from nursery right back up to reception so give me some of your your favorite times and memories at the school sure so in all honesty i would say that many of the memories are before covid <laughs> so all of the times that we were able to just come together as a school as a school family um, so whether it was special assemblies, whether it was the Christmas plays, um, whether it was sports days, just seeing everyone together, everyone celebrating who we are, celebrating themselves as individuals. Those sort of memories for me stand out the most. Um, and I think for me that means a lot because to be at a school where you feel that involved and that included and that everyone is there to support each other is quite a big deal. Yeah, wonderful. And I know that you were very instrumental with our art night, our very successful art night that we just did that was outstanding. You brought together the families and the kids for <laughs> art night and we raised some good funds to go towards the school in very needy times. So thank you so much, Ms. Kelman. Tell me a bit about, about the art night and that very cool concept and how, how difficult was it to get it executed, especially in these in these strange times? So interestingly, the art night came about because I'm also um, studying for my degree through UE, through the open campus. And although I'm always very willing to assist in these sort of, you know, times of needing things being done, I'm a very organized person. And um, it, I was speaking with Mrs. Chandler and Mrs. Steele, and I one of the requirements for my studies was to do a fundraiser so we kind of came upon you know the idea of doing an art night and i pretty much took the lead um as you said it was a huge profit um which i'm thrilled about i was not expecting anywhere near that um and i think the you know watching everyone do it on the evening do the art night and just seeing, you know, the talent come through from some of our youngest students, you know, up until professional parents who are already professional artists. And you could just see everyone coming together and doing it, it was lovely. Um, I would say that the biggest challenge was getting numbers finalized and getting supplies prepared. That took a lot of time and effort, but we got it, we got it done. That was great. I mean, you know, you have a concept, an idea for an event, but a lot of people don't understand what it really takes behind the scenes to execute right. the event. Quantities have to be correct. You've got to make sure no one's left out. You don't want to over-purchase. You don't want to under-purchase. Exactly. 
and then you still have to pull off a, a, a cool yeah. at the end of the day and, and remain calm, right? So congratulations. Yeah. You made a profit for the school. Thank right? you. Um, yes, I'm very pleased. Yeah, man. And thanks for all the support of all the teachers for the Christmas stars that we're definitely doing again um, this year. That was a very cool concept again. Yeah. Definitely. And I'm looking forward to the next one for sure. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're almost back. I think, you know, we're, we're back to crop over. We're back to cricket. So there's no reason why we can't have a school fair and have the Christmas stars on even a bigger level. Hopefully, God willing, we might be able to get back to all of these things and sports day. So it's, I'm so looking forward to it, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. But I just want to commend you on developing the art at the school because at the end of the day, we all know that St. Gabriel's is not just about academics. Yes, we do excel academically, but we also do so through sport, through music, and of course through art and other things you know so thank you so much for for your vibe your energy because uh, i'm sure that it will plant a seed that will sprout and become a lovely tree of art very very soon so thank you and please continue continue yeah yes i will do my best <laughs> all right so outside of your art passion and your passion for teaching what do you love most about teaching mrs kelman um i think for me it's seeing how the children blossom and grow and thrive um, and I know many people say it but I'm one of those that when I'm walking through the school grounds or you know even out and about and you hear the children you really do feel like a celebrity and it's kind of like whoa <laughs> so I mean I've always loved teaching I actually realized that it was my calling in life when I was about 14 and I was going to school. I went to school at St. Winifred and I come from a family of teachers. So my mum's a teacher, my aunts, my cousins, I have a lot of teachers um, in my family and I really realised at that point that that was my calling and so I, you know, went overseas and I did some studying and I came back and I absolutely love teaching here at St. Gabriel's. As you said, it's it's different. St. Gabriel's isn't just a typical school. We're all rounded. We focus on so many different things. And for me, that is important. Because as you said, there's some persons who will thrive in sports or thrive in music and art. And yes, they'll have good academics, but they know that they can take their passion and grow with it. And that's, you know, what we nurture here at St. Gabriel's. Wow. Well, so well said. So well said. <laughs> You know, um, you talk about your family business is teaching. That's wonderful. But you know, we are family at St. Gabriel's. So, you know, thank you to your family for producing you, you know, and um, welcome to our family. Eight years strong. You are certainly a, a valued member of the team, my friend. And I can speak on behalf of a lot of the parents and the, the entire St. Gabriel's management team. So thank you so much, Mrs. Kelman, for your time. I know you have to get back to class. But of course, I just want you to end by telling us why you love being a part of St. Gabriel's family and who you are and that you love St. Gabriel's and that will be a wrap, my friends. <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Kelman and I absolutely love St. Gabriel's. This is the St. Gabriel's song and we sing it proud and strong. We are one family, every culture, every race, we all have an equal space, and we live in unity, it's unity every day, that is the St. Gabriel's way, you and me in unity is strength, in the class and when we play, it's unity every day, you and me in unity.